Hello everyone, welcome to the SEEDS Action Tutorial. Here we will go over what are actions, why are they important, different examples of different action, what the buckets mean, how to create actions in series, and most importantly, how to edit actions. So as we all know, there are five strategies and each strategy and the communities they get attached with as well as their activities are improved by the state implementation team. Here we see that this county Coconino, as the example, got approved built environment, physical activity resources, school and other youth-based systems, early care and education system, and food systems. That means that each of these strategies has activities that support them. And what supports the activities are the actions. The reason why actions are important is because they tell us the frequency of our work, their single actions or series of actions that support these activities, they're what we send to USDA to tell them the work that we're doing. And the state evaluation team also uses this information to give us tips of what we're doing well, how we can improve, and what we're not doing so well on. To start, every time we're gonna create an action, we're always gonna go on this left-hand tab and click Create Action. I will walk you through a completed action as a very first example. First, we will click one of the approved strategies. If they're approved, they will be dropped down here. The first one's gonna be built environment will be our first example. And here we see the approved activities. So to start off, we're gonna click active living policy. Here are the action types. The action types vary very little from the different strategies and activities. The one that varies the most is, is assessment. Some activities don't have any assessment attached to them. Some activities will have one, such as active living policy, and some activities will have more than one. This all depends on the evaluation framework, what year it is, and what the activity is. However, all the rest of the other action types are very common and pretty much the same throughout all the activities. For this example, we're gonna choose meetings. Meetings is what it is, it means meetings. Assessments are the assessment, Direct education is split between youth and adult, meaning if you do an approved curriculum that is approved for both youth and adult, you will have to create two different actions, one to count the adult and one to count the youth. Events or events, free media is if, for example, you do a story on the news for free, the news people come to you and wanna cover the work you're doing, that would be free media. Material distribution is such as handing out recipe cards at food banks, or activity workout guides at the park. Paid media is if you pay for a commercial or signs at the bus stop. And points of decision prompts are signs and places that people make decisions or other social marketing tools where people make decisions, such as at a store, adding a sign that will encourage people to eat more fruits and vegetables. Social media is posts on the different social media platforms and trainings are if you're training the trainer to deliver curriculum or if you're training staff to support an activity in a strategy or community members. So let's start off with meeting. So let's say we're gonna do a meeting with a school district for them to approve more funds for fitness supplies. So we're gonna put fitness, supplies with district X, Y, Z. Here, we'll click if this is only one or it's in a series, such as a reoccurring meeting. I'll go over how to do series later. For right now, we're gonna click single, action date. Here, we always recommend that seed be used as a planning tool when you plan out all your meetings and everything into seeds before they actually happen. But you can always go back and add things back 30 days in the past. So for example, for this meeting, we wanna be able to complete it. Therefore, we're gonna put the first, a day in the past. Here you will put the lead staff name. Here you'll put if there's an internal evaluation, yes or no. This means an evaluation done by yourselves, the local implementing agency. And here you will write a description of this evaluation. Most of the times, this is gonna be a no. And this is a note section, which is not required, but is extremely helpful 
for us and for y'all to write very detailed notes on what is this action about. You see that Grand Canyon was approved community to do active living work. However, we wanna add the schools because that's, that's where this is happening. So here we go to add sites. We see all the sites because the Grand Canyon community was approved to do active living work. Click in schools. Then we're gonna click both by clicking select and control at the same time as stated in the note. And we're gonna add site to activity. Those raise those activities up. So we're gonna click them. Let's say it's in the Grand Canyon School District. And then we're gonna save. Since this event happened in the past, it will prompt us to enter data. That's why this will say pending data. That data will go here in the tracking data tab. You will click here and you will click all the intervention topics that apply. Sometimes this may not be as clear as others, and you can always reach out to the state implementation team for more questions. So since we're talking about physical fitness and supplies, we're gonna be participation we're going to use this one, participation in sports, promoting maintaining a healthy weight, prevention of diabetes and obesity, and reducing sedimentary behavior. Then the intervention center setting, we're going to choose schools K to 12. The number of people in the meeting, let's say there was 10. We always have to click save, save changes first before we can complete the action. And here we will complete the action. And now this action is completed. If we go back home, you will see that that action is now here in the completed bucket. If we go to built environment, active living policy, and meetings to filter it out, we should be able to see our action. Fitness applies with district XYZ here completed. If you are a LIA admin and you have LIA admin access, you'll be able to update completed actions for 60 days after it has been completed. So you will be able to go here and you'll be able to update the intervention topics, setting, number of people. Things that can, the name, the lead staff, but things that cannot be changed are the sites, the date, you can't make it a group, and any of this information up here. You may be wondering what is the created, pending, and data saved bucket for, and we'll go over this right now. Those can also be edited for 60 days by a LIA admin and at any time by any LIA staff as well. So first we're gonna create an action in the future. So here we're gonna use the early care and education system. And we're going to do a learning collaborative no mores. And we are going to be doing a training. And the training is going to be on drinking more water and less soda. And this is just an example. We're actually going to do this as a single. And we're going to put this date in the future. I'm going to put myself as a lead staff member. And we have no internal evaluation for nodes. It's training ECE staff. How to teach kids to drink more water to support no mores. We see some sites here that can already work, so we can select these ones. But let's see if we want to add another one, ECE Center. So maybe we want to add Comer. And then we can click Add. Now we see Comer here, and we did the training in Comer with Comer staff. 
Thanks, Slicker Head Start and Puente de Honzo Head Start. Now this is created, and the only thing you can do is make edits to it. This is a trigger date because this date that is set to happen. So 60 days after this, if nothing gets added to it, it will auto cancel, which is extremely bad. But because it's already created, it will be here. And you can see it. On the day of 9.16, it will move over to the pending data section. And I will show you what an action in there will look like. Let's use physical activity resources for this one. Let's use social support network. Here, let's say we're gonna do material distribution. We're gonna distribute to a elderly physical fitness group, um, workout suggestions. And we're going to do it once, and it is in the past. Myself as a lead staff, no internal evaluation, and we need to add sites. So we see that Social Support Network has been approved for page. So here we can look at community centers. And we're going to host this at the Copper Mine Chapter House. So we will add this. Now, since it's in the past, it is completed, it should be completed, and therefore the tracking data tab is open. However, let's say if we do not input any data and we say we'll get back to it later, then it will go here in the pending data section. Say we look it up, here it is. And we fill out the interventions. We're going to say it's about preventing obesity and other chronic disease, participation in sports. And those are, and, and yeah, those are going to be our intervention topics. Intervention setting, it's going to be at a community and recreation center. And we will have this material available in English, Dine, and Spanish, depending on who's there, they can choose whichever material they would like. And at the end of the activity, we distributed 50 handouts. You always have to click Save Changes before completed action. But say you click Save Changes and you have to go deliver direct education. Well, the action that was in pending data is now in saved. So you can open saved, and here you will see your action. And once you click, once you go to the tracking data tab, you can go down and you can complete the action. And that action will move over to the completed. Say there was a mistake. And as a supervisor, you caught this mistake and you would like to cancel the action. As a LIA admin, you're able to edit 60 days after as stated before. So you're able to edit the lead staff, you're able to edit the name, the different tracking data, and you're able to activate it or cancel it right here. You would click save changes and then again, complete action. Lastly, I want to cover with you actions in series. So here we'll do food systems. We're going to do garden establishing, and we're going to do training. And here, let's say we're going to do Running basics as an example, and we're going to do a series. We're going to do three series. 
I'll put myself as lead staff. No intervention. And we're gonna do it at the Cucamino Community Health and Human Service Senior Nutrition Program. And click Save. I wanna walk you through. So this is a main action, and these two are the sub actions. If all the actions are canceled or they're all completed, it will lock. So it's always important to make sure there's one that's in created before you decide to complete all of them because then you can add any more sub actions. So let's start for this one. Let's complete this one. See, this was done earlier this week. And then we'll save change. Make sure you click save change every single time. And this is now in the pending data bucket. This one is gonna be about gardening and fruits and vegetables. To mention setting. We are gonna do it at Must for right now say we are having the training. Just for example, uh, a large food store and retail. Then we can say that the training was in person, webinar, or LMS. Say it was in person. We select the training length. You can select the curriculum. So let's say we wanted to do seed to supper, just as an example. We said there was 20 people there. You can save the change. And after that, we can complete the action. So this one, we went back the next day and we did deliver more training. So then we click save change, so we in the date. And we're gonna do the same interventions. We're gonna do the same topic. Let's just say, use this. For example, in person, and same amount of time, and then same curriculum, and then 18 people this time. And we're just gonna save change. And then this one, say they canceled on us. Originally it was supposed to be the 18th, but they canceled. So we're gonna, First, add a sub action because they did give us a different date. So we'll go here, we'll cancel it because we don't want to complete all of these before adding another sub action because or else we won't be allowed any other sub actions. Here we're going to put a date in the future. We're going to save. And then that's it. So I'd like to show you where they're reflected in the buckets. So our two series in the future are here and created. Our one that we forgot to click complete is here in saved action. So you can go back in and either editor, edit, save, and then complete. And now it is complete it is in our completed tab. And that is all for this training. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to go on the Easy Health Zone contact zone and contact the state staff. My name is Roa Ayala, and here's my information, and I'll be able to help you with any SEEDS question whatsoever. Thank you very much.